the big challenge with electric boat is range. And what hydrofoil does is that it gets rid of the hydrodynamic drag and it flies above water, so it increases the range like two to three times a traditional electric boat. Not only is electric, you're gliding above the water, so there is no seasickness. It's just a smooth, like, smooth ride quality. You don't feel the waves. It's like you're on a jet plane. It's like 10x cheaper than you know using a gas boat, so you can use it as a scalable waterborne transportation, like water taxis, in cities like San Francisco, New York, Seattle, and whatnot. So it unlocks a you know a potential, a new form of transportation that was never ever possible before. The range is a, is a huge concern. Uh, just the amount of energy that, that it takes to move a boat through the water and to propel a boat through a water requires a lot of batteries. As you add more batteries, you add cost. So that's the other thing. Uh, there's you know, a very large cost uh, differential between um, you know, conventional uh, boats versus um, you know, boats that are powered by electric. And it's, it's it gets worse the higher you, the, the 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 larger the boat gets. With the foiling uh, and the smart computer and the software that we developed, we can have a boat that is disconnected from the water so it's much more efficient. And this way you can have a small battery that you can recharge overnight. And then you can, you can actually uh, have a decent day uh, out on the water on, the, on an electric boat. You can spend the night here if you like. It's uh, cozy and uh, protected. The toilet. It's from the, the dock, a normal uh, outlet. And I will show you. This boat is the, the future of leisure boating, but uh, the mission at Candela is uh, really to, uh, to uh, create a big impact and uh, reduce uh, as much the CO2 emission for maritime transportation. So